ವರ್ಣಿವೇಶರಮಣೀಯದರ್ಶನ ಮಂದಹಾಸುಚಿರಾಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೇರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಥಿಯೋರ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಠೋಳ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ನಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ we know one can easily cross the river if one desire to cross it and if one knew how to swim but when the same person desire to cross the ocean one cannot easily cross the ocean by oneself meaning without a sieve or boat similarly the same thing also described in the spirituality especially by bhagwan swami and himself in the vachanamrita but little different way in the 61 uh, 61st verse number of grade of first chapter sri ji maharaj himself say when faced with the task of crossing a river one who knows how to swim can cross it whereas one who is unable to swim will be left standing however when faced with the task of crossing an ocean both require the aid of a sieve similarly a river in the form of the dualities of cold and heat hunger and thirst honor and insult happiness and misery may be crossed by a person with atma realization however death is like an ocean in that case both a person who possesses atma realization and a person without it both require the help of a sieb in the form of faith in god therefore only the firm refuge of god is helpful at the time of death whereas atma atma realization alone is of no use whatsoever at the time of death for this reason one should firmly cultivate faith in god and that's what sri ji maharaj himself want to say like we should cultivate the form of faith in the form of bhagwan why because at the time of death even though we have like hundreds of virtues in our lives but without this form of faith in the form of bhagwan we cannot cross the ocean in the form of death meaning that difficult time in the form of death we cannot cross it meaning we cannot reach up to the divine abode of god without having faith in the form of bhagwan and for that reason sri ji maharaj himself says all of the devotees should cultivate from faith in the form of bhagwan and take his refuge now the question arises in our mind like how should be our faith like then uh, sri ji maharaj himself already given the answer in the vachanamrut 33 of gadda first chapter in that vachana our sri ji maharaj clarified like uh when muktanand swami asked the question to sri ji maharaj like is there any single means or single spiritual endeavor by which one can attain god or one can attain the pleasure or we can say the rajipo of bhagwan then sri ji maharaj began by saying like maharaj himself said in the reply accepting the form refuge of god in the single greatest endeavor amongst all spiritual endeavors for pleasing god that refuge though must be extremely firm and without any flaws and this refuge can be of three types one who having the refuge of god is with blind faith and then maharaj himself narrated the characteristic of such a person who has blind faith in the form of bhagwan if a person has intense blind faith then even if someone such as brahma were to attempt to deflect him from his refuge he would not be deflected not only that but in the same vachanamrut 
after narrat narrating many other things maharaj himself narrating the characteristic of a person who has a firm faith in the form of bhagwan with understanding meaning with the understanding of his glorious greatness so in that characteristic maharaj himself narrated like uh one who has uh, he who has such an insight is said to have from faith of god using his intellect if someone tries to deceive him or even if he tries to deceive himself such a refuge can never diminish also regardless of whether god after assuming a human form exhibits his divine powers or acts powerless such a person's intellect would never harbor any kind of doubts in the form of bhagwan meaning in the bhagwan's divinity or bhagwan's divine power so in short maharaj himself want to say or we can say he himself give us the message to cultivate unflinching faith in his form and by that unflinching faith in his form we can easily attain the pleasure of bhagwan not only that but ultimate liberation after death and that's why even maharaj himself says like this uh, personal endeavor meaning to cultivate the faith in the form of bhagwan is only able to cover all the other virtues in someone's life we know according to uh, muktanand swami's divine life we had studied we have listened many incidents from his life so muktanand swami's life his life full with the his life totally like dedicated to his guru ramanand swami and not only that but he had such kind of unflinching faith in the form of his guru like uh, he didn't uh, see ramanand swami as a ramanand swami but he see like this is bhagwan himself and his from faith in the form of his guru as a manifest form of god is such a high level that even raman swami many times during uh, he, uh many time during his discourses he narrated like i am not a god i am uh, bhagwan sevak and bhagwan is totally different he is the supreme not myself still not only muktanand swami but also parvat bhai and many of the devotees like thousands and thousands of devotees they have unflinching faith in the form of raman and swami as bhagwan himself but in the case of muktanand swami even though after sri ji maharaj had revealed many many miracles to the devotees and because of that most of the devotees they believed now raman and swami was not the form of god but this nilkan phorni or we can say the sahajan and swami is the supreme god but muktanand swami still didn't believe when ramanand swami himself gave him a darshan and then he narrated him like sahajan and swami is the supreme god and i myself is a servant of him and in at that time he believed and he cultivated from faith in the form of maharaj so the same tradition even we have today and not only that but even at the time of sri ji maharaj there were thousands of thousands and thousands of such devotees santo and even female devotees who had cultivated such a from faith in the form of sri ji maharaj like there there is no any other god besides this maharaj so by thinking the divine lives of such a devotee such a santo or even such a female devotees those who have such kind of unflinching faith in the form of maharaj we can also attain the similar faith in the form of maharaj today we are going to uh, listen something about vajiba of vijapur God alone knows the affection that a real devotee bears for him in his heart but he also experiences one's faith even though the person or the devotee is remain or lived thousands miles away but still maharaj or the satpurush they can experience they can understand 
the devotees or followers faith towards him Vajibai is an ideal example of a true devotee. Our real devotee does not waver in his faith in spite of the miracles shown to him or doubts raised by others. Even if God himself comes down to taste the sincerity of a true devotee or undermine his faith, he will not flinch from his loyalty and devotion. Vajibai was uh from the satwara caste she served sadhus and ascetic before she joined satsang before she joined the satsang fellowship uh she would always invite all kinds of sadhus bhavas vairagis and uh, to her house and then even offer them like marijuana or smoking pipes or tobacco whatever they desire whatever they want Vajib is always ready to provide all kinds of things to all those vairagis bhavas and all all kinds of ascetics she never found fault in their bad habits because she believed them to be a man of god that was her faith but that was uh, in wrong way but when ramdas swami along with the other santo he was traveling in that region and because of his discourses because of his staying at her home she came to know about the real rules or real like uh behavior of a sadhu and then she could understand like what's the, uh, what's the characteristic of a true sadhu and who is the supreme god and then and then even though she had not did darshan of maharaj still she had cultivated the firm faith in the form of maharaj merely by listening discourses from ramdas swami once ramdas swami came to vijapur when vajiba came to know of this she invited him to her place ramdas swami st- uh, along with many other santo stayed there for 12 days and talked to her husband about god religion and about the characteristics of a true sadhu he described to him the glory of bhagwan swami narayan so because of that both vajiba and her husband inspired by the discourses of raman and swami accepted the precept and doctrines of bhagwan swami narayan and became satsangis and from then on vajiba stopped giving shelter to the other ascetic meaning other vairagi bhavas who indulge in intoxicants like bhang tobacco and many other such things even though she had not made sriji maharaj she became one of his most faithful disciples so once sriji maharaj himself decided to taste vajibai's faith and for that uh, one sri ji maharaj went to vijapur to taste vajibai's faith in him but not in his original form he took murji brahmachari with him and he himself took a form of an ascetic so no one can understand no one can understand him as bhagwan swami narayan and maharaj inquired in the village whether he could find shelter for the night the village folk said there is a woman here vajiba who used to give shelter to the sadhus and bhavas but she does not entertain them anymore because she has become a devotee of swami narayan bhagwan she does not have any faith in the bhavas and vairagis who ask for all sorts of intoxicants so when bhagwan in the form of an ascetic he entered the village vijapur at the time he asked the other villagers like uh, i want to stay here for a night and the next day i will depart from here so is there any place or is there any particular home or is there any particular uh, genuine person who can give us a room in their house for staying a night so when he asked in this way then the villagers they explained to him everything about vajibai like uh, before she became a devotee of bhagwan swami and she was ever ready to give such kind of shelter and 
fulfill all kinds of desires of the ascetic meaning bhavas by providing bang and other tabakos and other things. But now, after becoming a devotee of Bhagwan Swaminarayan, she had stopped everything. So, without any thinking further or without anything, Maharaj himself said, uh, well, we'll go to her place only. Then Maharaj went to Vajibai's place and asked for shelter. First Maharaj knocked the door and when Vajibha came to open the door, then Maharaj himself said, we are pilgrims, we are pilgrims, so uh, we want to stay here for a night. We'll lay down here in the courtyard of your house. We do not want a special room or anything. Uh, not only that, but we we won't ask for anything else. So when Sriji Maharaj, uh, explain her everything about his need meaning uh, he didn't want anything and he stay um, outside of her home and lay down on a floor so in this way even Sriji Maharaj requested to her then Vajibai replied very harshly uh, she told to Maharaj Hypocrites and cheaters like you come here in large numbers. Did you take to the saffron robe and priesthood because you could not get enough to eat? Such kind of harsh word uh, Vajibai gave to Sriji Maharaj because she didn't understand like this is Bhagwan Samran himself. Because Maharaj had turned his clothes and everything and he took a form of a uh, ascetic, the other bhavas and sadhus, that's why. So in this way, Vajibai too much said to Maharaj. And finally, she said, I am sorry, I don't give any lodging or boarding to sadhus like you. And not only that, but even Vajibai explained to him, like, oh, before you leave, one word of advice. Please listen, if you wish to attain liberation, you must seek refuge at the feet of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. Because she didn't know, like Bhagwan Swaminarayan, to whom she was worshipping every day, he was standing in front of her. Then Maharaj, in the form of an ascetic, he told, Vajibai, you are mistaken. Swaminarayan is not God. On the contrary, he is a hypocrite. I think you have been misled by someone about his glory and greatness. The pundits from here to Kasi can prove that he is not God. Seeing that you are illiterate and uh, not understand anything in the scriptures, someone has misled you. So in this way, Maharaj himself tried to twist, uh, tried to check his level of faith. Then immediately Vajibai was firm in her faith and she retorted, You and your pundits are all wrong. I am prepared to follow Bhagavan Swamina even if it cost me my life. However, if I hear you speak ill of Swaminarayan, I shall throw all your belongings out of this village. Meanwhile, Vajibai's husband came and he also rebuked Maharaj for speaking ill of Ma uh, Swami Narayan. Maharaj was silent. Then he said, I shall not speak a word. He said, we'll stay here for one night. We won't ask for anything else. And even if you beat us, we'll not go. Then Vajibai said, I'll not give you a mattress or food or if I see you smoking or taking ganja or tobacco, I'll throw you out of this village. Then Maharaj could not, Maharaj accepted all of her condition and uh, Maharaj laid down on the floor outside of the room. So in the entrance of the house, meaning in the balcony. So uh, he was trying to sleep, but he couldn't sleep there. So after some time, he again knocked the door Then as Vajibai opened the door, then Maharaj said, Mother, please give me a bed. 
so that I can sleep. I cannot sleep here on this uneven floor. Then Vajibai said, I do not have one. Then Maharaj, in the form of an ascetic, he said, give me the painted bed that lies in the room at the back. So Vajibai was taken back. How could this sadhu know about the bed in my house? She thought for a while. However, she brought the bed from the back room and placed it in the courtyard. After some time, even Maharaj, uh, like, he was trying to sleep, but he couldn't sleep even. Then he again, after some time, he again asked for the mattress. He knocked the door, again Vajiba opened the door and he asked for a mattress. Then Vajiba said, I don't have any mattress, any new mattress. Then Maharaj said, right in the middle of a pile of mattresses, inside in a new mattress, inside is a new mattress, give it to me. Then Vajiba was again surprised. She gave him the mattress, but she was uh, she was in thought, in deep, like how should the uh, how this sadhu can know everything about my house, even though he was outside. To as the days, fatigue Maharaj stretch his legs, so now. Vajiba has had doubt, like she was thinking, these bhavas, these sadhus, might be some magician or might be he knew about. Uh, some black magic so let me check if what is he doing meaning is he sleeping right now or what is he doing at night so after some time as Vajiba slightly opened the door not the open the whole door he only opened a little bit and then he with the in, uh, from the gap of the door she was looking what the sadhu meaning Maharaj is doing. So at the time, Maharaj stretched his legs, he stretched his legs further and touched the people tree in the compound. And divine light radiates from the big toe of his right foot. Vajiba saw this from a crack in the door and was dumbfounded at the sight. However, she thought, there are so many sadhus like him who have supernatural powers, but they cannot equal Bhagavan Swaminarayan. In this way, he she was thinking and went to sleep. In actual fact, uh, there was a people tree on the very bank of the well. So every day, uh, Vajiba had uh, like disturbance to fetch water from the well because of this people tree and that is why she need to move this people tree but how can it be possible so Maharaj himself merely by stretching merely by touching the tree with his one of leg Maharaj himself like push back the tree the whole tree rooted on the earth so when even she found this miracle, she didn't believe in any miracles. And she even thought like Bhagavan Swaminarayan is one and only. There, will, there is no anyone in this earth is capable to equal him. So all in the morning, Maharaj woke up and left. Uh, after some time, Vajiba went to Garuda for Darshan of Maharaj. On seeing her, Maharaj called her and asked, have you seen these feet before? They are this, uh, then Vajibai replied, No, Maharaj, I have first time have a chance to have your darshan. Then Maharaj again asked, but she replied the same. Maharaj, no, I have a chance to have your darshan this very first time. Then Maharaj said, this, this is the same feet, they are the same that touch the people tree in your compound and push it back. Then Vajibai was amazed and felt repentant for not recognizing Maharaj. She asked for forgiveness with a feeling of shame. Maharaj, I am very sorry, I could not recognize you. 
Then Maharaj replied, You are my true devotee and I came only to taste your faith in me. And you passed the taste. So, as Sriji Maharaj himself had uh, narrated in the Vachnamrut 33 of Gada first chapter, like one who has a blind faith, he never wavered from his faith in the form of Bhagwan. Even someone who is very intellect like Brahma, someone who is like more powerful than the any human, meaning like the Brahma, meaning any other devas, who has supernatural powers like that, those who can perform any kind of miracles, and still one cannot flinch from one's faith in the form of God. So, in the same way, Vajibai had the same level of unflinching faith in the form of Maharaj. Even she didn't have darshan before, Mah before any time of Maharaj, still she had cultivated such an unflinching faith in the form of Maharaj, merely by listening Ramdas Ji Swami's discourses. And that's why Sri Ji Maharaj himself came to her house and tasted her faith. But she passed Maharaj states. So one who passed the exams of Bhagwan can never fail in any other exams in the life. So in this way, Vajibai even attain the too much praise and uh, pleasant from Bhagwan Swaminarayan and Maharaj told everyone about the strong faith of uh, Vajibai reposed in him. Uh, he should all be as steadfast in our, our faith as Vajiba. So this is what Vajibai's life uh, and her faith in the form of Bhagwan. We should also cultivate in our life the same amount of faith in the form of Bhagwan and Satpurus. By cultivating such level of faith, we can also enjoy the same bliss of Divine Aksardam while alive. Not only that, but even after that, we will easily attain the Divine Abhara of Aksardam. By saying this, Jai Swaminarayan, Sri Ganshyam Maharajani Jai.